Greetings fellow nerds. Oops, wrong voice. Recently I was watching a video by a channel called Periodic Videos and this is a, a channel by uh, University of Nottingham out of England and it's a, kind of a chemistry and element periodic table type channel and it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting well done channel and the chemists were asked if they could make a wedding ring out of a very unusual metal what would they use? Well, several of the chemists suggested mercury as a, probably the most unusual metal you could possibly use as a wedding ring. And I was immediately challenged to try to make one of these. I picked up a block of dry ice and created a, a small cavity, which is uh, what we're pouring the mercury into. And uh, mercury has a freezing point of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 40 degrees Celsius. Now, to my knowledge, this is the only mercury ring that anyone has ever made before. Um, so I really didn't know what I was going to be dealing with here. I wasn't sure if I could even remove it out of this uh, dry ice without breaking it. I didn't know how, if it'd be real brittle. We're working, it's, you know, rather thin metal there. I didn't know if it would crumble in my hands, just the heat from my hands, since mercury has a... It uh, conducts heat really quickly, and I wasn't sure how long I could hold it before it just crumbled in my hands or started dripping and melting. Eventually, I got it out of there in one piece, and I was kind of surprised, actually. I thought it was going to break, but, um, you know, here we have probably the most unusual wedding ring. It's, it's cold, very, very cold, very heavy, very toxic very fragile and very very short-lived and uh, <laughs> in my head this would be like the perfect wedding ring for the Kardashians anyway thank you very much for watching